How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. Today I'm here with Sunny, product line manager at Hoka. Today we're gonna be taking a deep dive into the new Hoka Mach X2. Now, Hoka Mach X came out last year hot. Everyone wanted it. It was that elevated uh, experience over that traditional Mach. And now with Mach X2, we get another big update. Tell us about the inspiration with this shoe and maybe how it's gonna separate itself. Yeah, um, Mach X, we really wanted to update it and give it all that good stuff to really make it feel like a Hoka and elevate to the Mach X2. So um, we took all of kind of the feedback from the Mach X and really elevated it to be that propulsive everyday trainer that you want out of it. And I mean, everyone loves the standard Mach, but again, this has a little bit more pop, it has the plate, but it looks like now both of those uh, features have been updated. What's new with the foam and plate? Yeah, super awesome. So first and foremost, we added five mil stack to this. So a men's 10 is 42, 37. That's total stack underfoot. So including the strobel, including the sock liner. The top foam here is a Piba foam. So you see that in the Rocket X2, that's your super responsive, super foam. And then underneath we have an EVA chassis that really wraps under the foot to give you that stability that you would want for your tempo runs. And then sandwiched between these two foams, we have a PBAX plate. Um, so same plate as in the Mach X, but redesigned with some wings to just help for that extra stability. Yeah, you know, we see the super foams used, but in a more daily training package, having some features like that bottom layer of EVA, that foam just provide a little bit more stability and seem to work well for a wide variety of training needs. Totally. Now, moving on down to the outsole. Yeah. What do we have? So we really looked at making sure this can hold up to your heavy training. So we added a good amount of durabrasion rubber here, um, but by not adding too much weight. And do we have some new cutouts just to keep weight out? We do have some new cutouts here, as you can see underfoot, um, which is just adds to the overall lightweight ride, ride experience. And what's about the weight in this shoe? The weight comes in at 9.2 ounces here for the Mach X2. And wrapping the shoe all together, we got the new upper, really good aesthetic. What's the material? Yeah, super lightweight upper here. This is a Lino Weave upper, um, so it doesn't hold weight. Um, comes in super light and we have a new collar construction here that feels really good on foot and really kind of shaves those ounces off. So obviously the Mach X2 is going to be that faster performance trainer, but maybe if someone's trying to figure out, do I get the Mach 6 or do I go the Mach X2, what would you say might be the reason to go up to the X. Yeah, definitely. Well, if you're doing a lot of like heavy tempo training where you want some plate, but not quite a carbon plate, um, Mach 6 doesn't have a plate, Mach X2 does have a plate. It's that PBAX plate, which is a little bit more forgiving underfoot, but you still get that pep tier stuff. I mean, I know this will be a solid tempo day shoe. I'll probably get some longer runs in it. And if you're looking to get it on your feet, when can you have it? You can have this in September of 2024. Perfect. If you're looking to get the Mach X2 on your own feet, it'll be available here at Running Warehouse.